My name is Sarah. You might recognize me from Literacy and Volunteer Services at Monterey County Free Libraries. And today we are going to make a coupon book. Um, it can be for Valentine's Day for one of your loved ones. My sister and I used to make them for each other. Um, maybe at birthdays, I think, but it can be for any occasion. And so I have, um, this can be a low cost option if you are hanging out at home. And I have some supplies with me here. I have, I have index cards and I might use those for my coupons. And I also have some rather neutral colored construction paper that I could cut into the coupons because we're going to just put together a little book. And for that I also have a glue. Um, tape would also work, but I might um, use these scissors and poke holes in the edges and tie them together. That way my partner can rip off the uh, coupons as they use them. Um, I am going to use a straight edge because I couldn't find in all this stuff a ruler, but if you have a ruler, great, because you will want um, to write lines to write what the coupons are for. Um, some coupon ideas could be make me some tea, go on a walk with me. Those were frequent ones for ours, and then ours were also loaded with write your own, and you can make it blank and just decorate the outsides, and then the recipient can put in what they want from you, obviously within reason. So it's a creative way to uh, make a sort of DIY gift for your partner. So I was going to, I have crayons here, I have a mug of pens because I was told that you might be drinking lead if your cup has a crack and this cup has a crack but I can't get rid of it because it's from the same aforementioned sister. So I have pens in there, markers. I have the glue and the tape. I have crayons. I'm gonna try shaving some crayons onto one of mine. I have stickers, which I'm going to put on, and I have bits of fabric, as always, and some fun twine to also glue on there. So you might wanna get started thinking about what kind of coupon you're going to make for the first one and go from there. You could always start uh, easily with a choose your own adventure type thing. So depending on how creative you are feeling and how um, how much time you have, you might want to make a cover for it that says coupon book or something like that, like a title page. And I had taken um, this heart cookie cutter and I painted it with these paints that were on sale at the dollar store. And we joke that we know why, because they don't show up really well. So I um, did it twice and so now I have kind of an offset heart here. And I'm gonna fill it in with the pen. Um, and because I uh, am maybe feeling a little bit less creative, I am going to actually not make a title card for my Valentine coupon book or Day of Love and Friendship coupon book or whatever kind of coupon book you want to be making it for. So I'm going to just actually write the text inside these little offset hearts. Um, and I'm going to offer for this particular one um, a neck rub. Everybody in my family always wants a neck rub. So uh, like I said before, you can do really as much as or as little as you want. Uh, some of ours when we were little just were like little handwritten scribbled things on a piece of paper but it shows at least that you're taking the time and thinking about someone. Um, so I'll show you some progress in a little bit. You could also always just make one uh, coupon each for the people in your household if you um, have a lot of people or if you just need to keep it small. And I've had an accident here with the glue. I seem to always do that whenever I'm filming a video for uh, creativity. And so I have a little glue blob, but I had the scissors and I was scraping off some crayon onto it. This is a pink crayon. And um, 
I'm telling you to be safe because not only should you be safe, but my seven-year-old just came over and told me to be safe. Anyway, so I'm going to uh, move this, these crayon shavings onto the glue and then maybe make a sort of interesting looking flower out of it. <laughs> and I think that one will have to be a choose your own adventure coupon for the recipient. So as you see here, you can make them themed or not. And again, it doesn't have to be for Valentine's Day. I'm sure that it was our birthdays that we did it with my sister. Um, and so yes, see this glue accident, always have them filming videos for MCFL. So I will come back on while you can go and find some stuff around. I do highly recommend getting your stuff ready before you start. I never do that and then I have to get up in the middle of um, putting together my thing. But it's nice to have it all out at your fingertips and then sometimes you draw the friends at home to come and want to create with you. So I will show you a few pages of coupons uh, on the other side. Thank you. Thank you for bearing with me. So overnight I found the hole punch, which I'm going to use to make holes to tie the Valentines together. Um, we did get kind of sentimental sometimes and not want to throw away our Valentines. They're all gone now, but we did end up holding on for, to them for a while. So I want my recipients to have the option to hold on to the Valentines if they want the coupons. So overnight, uh, the glue accident dried and uh, so did the kind of offset heart. And then I took some fabric remnants and this uh, ribbon and glued those on and offering a sweet iced coffee here. And then um, I took this I have had a card that I was given and I cut strips of it and then I sort of collaged it into a frame and wrote your favorite dinner. So there's that and then I uh, also used something that we had already painted on and kind of used that as a template and I have a lot of stamps. My mom writes a lot to me so I cut out the stamps that I like and so I have this kind of fun John Lennon one that is love and friendship colored and uh, I guess that could be any color and so I put that in and I put this one play a game. So now I have a length of string that I can use to tie them together. And I'm just going to make sure I have the holes and you can poke holes with a um, with the end of a scissors or um, yeah with the end of the scissors would probably be the best and I'm going to line these up and then I'm going to poke a hole uh, and tie them together and then I shall have a little coupon book and if you tie it then you can also add to it uh, if you can't sleep and have the time to make some more or if you uh, just feel like it. if you think of another coupon that would be great um, I know mine could probably all be surrounded by food uh, but I didn't want to show you that so uh, you can really do whatever the person likes that you're giving it to, you can make it surrounding them. And now I'm threading these holes and here we have a coupon book for your loved one to celebrate uh, the day of love and friendship or to celebrate any day that you like. And you can present this to them whenever. I hope that you enjoy some creativity and some relaxation at this time, and we'll see you at the next Self Care Sunday video. Thanks for being here.